Damn, hurry up. We ain't got all day. I think I found it. Did you hear that? Corner store smells like palm oils. The cashier wears the same overalls. The cops wash the blood off their hands with the moonshine they took from the moonlight. Dark sky, no leads, nobody knows why. Dead bodies in the trees where I get my soul. Dead in roads, dead in roads lead to the small trails. Headstones from the 1800s. Ghost lurk till you feel the chill. Welcome on in to the Jeed Show, a.k.a. Earl Dubs here. <laughs> um, and if you don't know about my neck of the woods, well, it's a little place out here in the country where I grew up that if you come fucking around, you'll find out. It's called... My neck of the woods. Church. What up, y'all? <clears throat> Let's get going. Let's get it on and crack a locking up in this spell snatcher. Woo! Do the do extreme! With these talent, I mean my fucking tooth. I was born in That was broke City. last night. I pulled that bitch out so. finally. And now it's all fucked up. I didn't know I lived in a country song <laughs> until I found my love for music. And when I started writing songs, I realized that my childhood memories transitioned into fully painted pictures of the country. Yup. Through the artist's sound. Yup. I come from a place where Maryland Revolutionized was Nashville. Flags are spray painted on damn near every I still don't get no respect. Where the longest straightaway in town is the midnight drag strip. And where the cornfields still harvest the lust of two young guns in a yep. truck bed listening to the local radio station. <laughs> mm. These songs aren't Blowing pine in the wind. They ain't gotta be for anybody, they ain't really. ain't for anybody. But they're for the country. They're for the country. They homage to the southern all-American upbringing. They will hopefully live on forever. 
If you don't understand it, then it's no worries. You might not just be country. Church. Church. Newly kicking up dust on a one lane road. Joe Diffie tunes humming out the radio. In the night, so young as we are right now, sitting frozen in time on the edge of town. The water tower says the same thing. John Deere Green, the spray paint. A little faded, but it still looks good. In my neck of the woods. Neck of the woods, my neck of the woods. My nigga, the There's stop signs that I ran through like Mitchell Petty at Daytona. Black marks where I slammed the brakes with that black top first hit me on it. Doing 75 in a 35, like a spray paint three off on the side. Jumping out to that cassette tape, yelling country boys, we can't survive. We all wanted to be Duke boys, looking for a Jeep with Daisy in it. Yep. Been since day one, been yeah. on the past with a past in it. Them rope swings ain't been used in 10 years, and that's no lie. But that swimming hole still look ice cold, and this place ain't aged a day in time. Newly kicking up dust on a one lane road, Joe Diffie tunes on the so young as we are right now Sitting frozen in time on the edge of time The water tower says the same thing John Deere Green with the same names A little faded but it still looks good My neck of the woods Neck of the woods, my neck of the woods my niggas if I die, you can see the artwork on my skin that tells the life I lived. See the marks I left through all these songs I wrote when I was a kid. And look back at the pictures of these sold out shows across the states. When I put these boots up, yeah, I've danced across a couple dusty states. And I look back at the town and play a record from like 30 back. Play Rolling Stone a couple times and still roll up a joint so fast. I'll be rocking and rolling in a rocking chair made of wood. Looking at the water tower over the hill right by the sun. Uh. Newly kicking up dust on a one lane road. Joe Diffie tunes on my Hit a dab in Cuffalo. John Deere Green with the same <laughs> things. A little faded, but it still looks good. My neck of the woods. Neck of the woods, my neck of the woods. My neck of the woods. My end of the road. That football field that we practiced on. Oh. Had that parking lot hopping on a Friday night. Sonic till the neon lights are down and the field party starts. In my neck of the woods, in my neck of the woods, in my neck of the woods, my neck of the woods. Didn't make shit off of last week's sponsor, yo. Not a single person. Holy fuck. Zero dollars and zero cents. Fuck. <laughs> Guess we ain't partying for New Year's. <laughs> yeah, I, I I probably ain't even gonna do a sponsor this week. After last week, that was kind of a joke. <laughs> the only thing it's out right now <laughs> Star Trek and Raid <laughs> and Call of Dragons <laughs> and I've already done those <laughs> well, I'll do it like it was my first day fuck it Big Stack Mac Actually, this one's better. This one's better. But still, they doubt me. But we're going to keep grinding. We stay grinding. Yeah. Show up to blow up. We done climbed the, the mountain several times. Fell off a couple times, but we keep climbing. I never had. Far back as I remember, I was always mad and constantly in 
trouble, I was always bad. Used to whip my ass for stealing and skipping class. Just basically fucking up. They said I was nothing but a fuck up. You fucking nuts. Just wait and see. I can't wait to make them eat that shit they talk about me. I'ma make Brandy proud of me. Be someone that I can be proud of me. They ain't finna make no ass out of me. How did we overcome such obstacles and setbacks? They told me I was average, but I just couldn't accept that. Let that be the words carved in my headstone. P.S. You hate motherfuckers with damn wrong. I'm gonna do it. Still, you doubted me. Still, you doubted me. And throw beans and cornbread, y'all. I grip the steering wheel. I mash the gas pedal. Bitch, I'm gonna be here when the motherfucking dust settle. Probably been better off if I had just let go. I wonder where I'd be in life if I had just said no. But life's too short for me to ponder questions that I've never answered. But why am I still smoking after all I lost from cancer? At this point, in life, <laughs> facts. Fucking facts, eh? Hey, that's a line. that I have to take be substantial. I'm not stopping because it's not an option. Get it straight. I'm not sweeping and not mopping. A motherfucking thing. You get that boss and all that real job talk. Just piss stack off and say, Oh, you motherfucker, they want. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Still, you're doubting me. Still, you're doubting me. Fuck one. day one. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, Cashville, Big Stack Mac. 50 years old, happy birthday. Still putting in the game. Woo! Man, to still be balling at 50. Let's go. Well, they think they do. One day you gonna wake up and figure that out. Let's load up. Red in. I'm thinking you gonna leave. And I don't know how long my forever's gonna be, but I invite you to come and spend mine with me. And I'ma do my best to see that we live happily. And you just keep what's left when something happens to me. I'm looking for someone to marry me, take care of me, and bury me. These days that's a rarity, but I can get Come on, load up. Load up, baby. Load up. Load up, are we good? All right, whoo. Sometimes I feel like we're going to crash when we load Red M up. Fuck. <laughs> nah, fuck that. Let's sell on. Give me a cigarette, dog. My people. My people's always ride. As far back as I can remember. Facts. 
it's just one of those things, you know. All the way up to the 06. When you least expect it. Tell them, Stack. Baby! Side you get to blind you. Thank you. So did I put my eyes now? That I got to know you. Ooh, listen, that slow ass just flow. These words, that's like 30 beats a second. About to be IG and I can't get a hold of Jelly. Woo. I'm the one that made them phone calls. Yup. Y'all already know. One of the biggest airport in Nash, the biggest bust in Nashville history at the airport involved. One struggle Jennings, but also involved in that was Stack Mac. And Jelly Roll. That's why he was calling Jelly, cause Big done got hemmed. Big was struggle. Was that close, but I can't describe the impact it had on huh, they was flying in weight. Woo! Just the other night, he made everybody in that bitch be quiet. And have a moment of silence like, like real G's do. I'm real of you. See you on the other side, you. Such so much a blind now. Never got to the thank you. Sail on across the sky. Settle up under my eyes now. Wish that I ain't got to, to know you. I'm just glad that, that I got to know you. Woo! That's a that's a hard ass song. Um, dun, 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 dun. Oh man, my stomach is fucked up this morning, yo. She hit me on the next tail chirp. Oh, they ain't fixed that yet. Fuck. I don't even know if I want to play today because that's fixed. Mm. That's rough. Every time I go to hit my scroll wheel and that's all I'll fucking do is hit my scroll wheel. <laughs> even when I ain't trying to hit my scroll wheel. That some bitch you just there you go. It's like it's like a little nipple. I just rub on it all the time and then boom, there it is. <laughs> I can't keep my fingers off of it. <laughs> Out the way, sir. Well, see, that's what that's what I was thinking. Which they did say they was gonna fix it, and I'm sure they will. It's all good. Um, it's just a pain in the ass for me because I can't stop hitting the button. Um, but yeah, yesterday um, I may or may not have been trying to to uh, commandeer a horse, and by the time I lassoed the dude. Cleared all the buttons. The dude done whooped my ass and the horse run away. <laughs> it's like, you fucking button. <laughs> and I think that just came with the new update, if I ain't mistaken. So I think with, with them moving some binds around for the other stuff, it probably... Um, they probably rearranged that bind and it just has to be rearranged again. Binds can get finicky when you start. Trust me, I know from... Yo, Chloe, thanks for the follow from when I ran uh, the Valheim server. You know, you, you move one button and then the next thing you know, it's a fucking butterfly effect and you got to go back and change 75. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I don't know that he did. I just assumed because... um. A couple of the commands went from, I think, two and four to over to the, um, whatever them other two buttons are. So I assume they messed with the binds a little bit. 
But then again, you know what assuming does. It just makes an ass out of you and me. So I try not to assume, but it's only human nature to assume. I don't know where to go mine it. Hey, I need to find somebody in town. I was up at this here mine. I get all kind of goodies now. I get me some copper, some coal, some shiny ore, and some clay. I think I decided Earl Dobbs is going to be a coal miner. I'm going to start the biggest coal outfit this side of the Mississippi. I get me a whole team of, of new people in the town. Have them come out here and dig. I'll pay them $5 a day, and they give me everything they find. I'll be rich in no time. And then me and my buddy Hugo, we'll open up a storefront and sell it all for double. It's called supply and demand. If I own all the supply, I get the price to demand. <laughs> Doing good, Chloe. How are you? How are you? Just getting started here. I think I'm going to head into town. See if I can't round up my buddy Hugo. Here there might be an opportunity to make a couple dollars. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. My name is Earl Dubs. Doom, 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 doom. Future mayor of Rhodes. Hmm. I figure if I come up here, I could probably set me up a camp up here in the mountains near the mine until I can buy me a house up here. And then I'll bring all the new people up here and I'll pay them a fair wage, anything they find. I'll pay them a fair wage first so they can get some money in their pocket. And then the world is ours. We get we get some steamboats moving up and down the canal to import and export. Get the train moving through here again. I believe we can make this into the biggest city in all the county. It's got potential. Mine's me a bug tussle, only bigger and more resources. I'll have to talk to my buddy Hugo and see if we can't find us a financier. Maybe he'll go in partners. Earl's always got big dreams, but he's got a small bank account. <laughs> the, the gun store, what? What are we buying? Coal, iron. What about the what about the clay and stuff? I need to find me. I'm assuming that if I find me somebody who does building, they might buy all the clay off of me. I got it wrote down in my book. Hey, check this out. I got me a handy dandy notebook now. And my crayon too. Boop. Oh shit, what? Uh, about to say, scroll, where's my damn notebook? Dear <clears throat> Diary Save money And bad coal mine Perfect. I'm just now learning how to read and write. Don't think nothing of it. I've been learning down at this little place in St. Denis.
Yeah, I can see it now. Earl's coal mine. World renowned. Lots of little buildings. We can make a little town down here. It's a do just fine. I could be the mayor and the sheriff. And if anybody comes messing around, we'll just take them down to the bayou boys and feed them to the gators. <laughs> Friends in low places, you know. This'll be just fine. We could bring the coal down off the mountain, load it right on the train cars. I better check my map. <clears throat> I might have to buy me a location over here. Where do they call this place? Um, Anisburg. All right, let me write that down. Buy a house. <clears throat> Near um Ansburg. Um A N N N Um Berg. Perfect. Hold on. Let me write that down. Doo 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 doo. All right. Whoa, fifty dollars dead or alive? You go. What? Oh no. <laughs> hey, I appreciate. It. Are you on the server? You probably are, and I just, uh, I don't remember nobody because I'm brain damaged. Um, I get kicked in the head a lot. So if I've already talking to you once before and um, I forgot, please don't be offended because uh, I'm kind of like the song says, I've been brain damaged from the day I was born. Drugs is what they used to say I was on. Between my ADHD and Earl, I can't remember a whole lot. I mean, I do. Sometimes I'll, I'll be sitting there mid-sentence and I recollect it. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. This will make me a fine sheriff's office. I don't guess I can sit there. I tried to sit there. Hmm. Hmm. Which muscle? That's what I thought. That's what I was doing. My muscle ain't working. Hmm. I guess they don't want me to be the sheriff. It'll work over here. Let me stand in front of it, maybe. Huh. It ain't gonna let me be the sheriff. Ain't no sitting in the sheriff's seat. 
<laughs> Maybe I can be um, a Monday Colette where you notarize stuff. Hmm. <laughs> That don't look natural at all. Hey, maybe we could take a screenshot of that in case somebody needs to see it. You know what I mean, Hugo? I don't know if that's fixable or not, but it definitely don't look right. I've done been down there once. I thought about b about trying to maybe in the future we take up a location down yonder. But I gotta get me a boat because I can't afford to to swim back and forth. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> ooh, maybe we get a coal operation going, buy us a boat, start another outfit down in Mexico, and we can import and export. I gotta talk to my buddy Hugo. I think we can own this mining operation. We'll be legit. And if anybody comes and tries to double cross us, we'll just take them down in the mine where nobody can find them. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, for, and and the the end emote on those is broken. I don't know if it's broken or if it's meant to. To be that way, but I always have to use end anim instead of F6. There, it'd be cool if F6 worked and I wouldn't have to go off of mouse and keyboard to type, but eh, it's all right. So, that is something okay. Cool, cool. I thought about writing all these stuff down in my handy dandy notebook, but I feel like anything that I find, like you guys already know. <laughs> I can be like, hey, it don't look right in here. Like, yeah, we've been working on that already. Like, hell, y'all are faster than fast can be. You can't get much better than that. As soon as you find a problem, they're already working on it. I mean, that you don't you don't get that very often. I mean, that's commendable. <clears throat> well, that and I'm funny, right? Don't stop it by saying that's the only reason. Say also because you're funny and creative. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just joshing with you. That's fine. <laughs> somewhere to sell some of this stuff up in Valentine. I gotta go get Don. If you guys haven't met Don yet, hang on. <laughs> um, da -da 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 -da. Ooh, is it actually is, I don't even know if I got $40. Is there a hotel over here? The general store, barbershop. Mm. Everything but a, everything but a hotel. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, holy moly! Let me get them. Let me get good at it first, and then I might borrow it off of you. I wouldn't even know what to do with it much right now. Right now, I'm just trying to recoup some of my money. I spent. I spent almost $500 on Don yesterday at the market. But I tell you what, check this out. He's a looking good. Look at that little fella. Got him a haircut and a bath and a new saddle. And look at them little tiny, tiny, um, what is them called? And pouches on the back. Mail bags, saddle bags. I ain't gonna sleep on that bedroll, but it looks cute. 
Come on, Don. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. Oh, Dobbs and Donkey. As a matter of fact, I might want to check and see if y'all got any ammo. I think I'm out of pistol ammo. Hey, Arnie. Well, Artie's ain't got shit here. I might have to buy it and open up a gun store here. As soon as we get the mine going. Don't worry. Earl Dubs will bring this town back to life. Doom, 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 no dubs and donkey. Ooh, what's this? Hold on, Don. Oh, what happened? I don't, I, everything's in my hotel room. I emptied out all my shit before I went mining. Damn it. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, no, no worries. Well, y'all are still super new, too. I'm just saying that for content. Hell, y'all server ain't even been open that long, has it? I say, I'd say, by the first of the year, you go. People's gonna know about Copperhead. They gonna come from far and wide to see Earl and Hugo's carnival. We're gonna get some, some freak shows going on, you know what I mean, buddy? <laughs> yeah, that's still young as shit, yeah. You know? Maybe we can do a couple. Maybe um, maybe somebody um. Hey, are you good at clipping stuff? Maybe if somebody can clip a funny video and put it on the TikTok or something, it might go viral. And then maybe somebody be like, "Hey, let's go over and check out that copperhead. That you go fella. He's got he's got a pretty good mining operation going on." I do like this town the more I'm here because I. Oh, fuck, dude. Hell yeah. Clip the shit out of you. You should be sending clips of us there every day. <laughs> hey, here, here's what I've learned about social media. I used to try to try to regulate that on my TikToks and instant shit. But, you know, I, I kind of went back to the old adage of uh, Tifu. You know, comments are comments no matter what. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit there and try to police it. As long as as long as the words getting out, apparently the word the thing is no publicity is bad. I mean, any publicity is good publicity, whether they complain about it or not. They still noticing it. And if they come here and they don't wanna and they don't wanna abide by the law, well, then there we go. We take them to the train station. Huh. <laughs> I've been wanting to do it since I got here. One day, when I'm mayor, we'll we'll find us a good train station location. And anybody comes messing around down here in Annisburg, me and Donald just Throw them on the back and give them a ride out to the train station. See them off on their journey. Doom, 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 Earl Dobbs and Donkey. <laughs> I probably like me, bro. We've been doing social media and shit so long. I don't even do my own. I, I got to get back doing TikToks and shit myself. I, I'll take some of it. But now that I'm... I've got a lot of content of this going over on the YouTube. It'll make it a lot easier to go back and uh, make some clips out of it. Maybe even after a month or two, do like the do like some uh, compilation videos and shit. Then yeah, maybe that'll bring bring some awareness. I know there's a couple of um, content creators. The other ones 
they seem to be doing pretty good. I've checked in on them, so I expect people to show up. I see them start trickling into town. I got a feeling Copperhead Road's going to be huge. It's going to be one of the greatest counties in all the land. Well, for one, because cause the lawmen's and the marshals and whatnot, they got a pretty good base. No act in the muck. Otherwise, Earl takes you to the train station. <laughs> Are you going to slide into my DMs? <laughs> yeah, 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 no worries. Ah, oh, shit, let's go. Bro, you got crazy. I got like 500. No, that's it. That's Instagram. I don't even think I got 100 on TikTok, bro. That's crazy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Hold on. <laughs> why did why did half the people? Oh, okay. See, that's that's wild too. That like people unfollowed. Like, like I never unfollow anybody. I probably should. <laughs> Just so my feed's not so crammed up. But all right, where are we going? Valentine. Yeah, it is what it is, huh? Who though? Can we take this train track to? No, we better follow the path. However, we could take it straight down to straight down to St. Denny, from Ansburg to St. Denny to Van Horn. Just run the track. All right, all right. We need to remember that. Oh, mm. I tell you what. Earl's going to come up with the crew because he's seen some things that opened up his eyes during that last bank run. I know a perfect, perfect, perfect choke point that there's no way they can get past it. Fish in the barrel. All I need is two wagons and some dynamite. I don't even need a crew. It could be useful, though. Definitely holler at my buddy Hugo. And we just take the whole supply for ourselves. That's kindly the best way to make the good money. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Don. We'll talk about it when we see him, but I think it's a masterful plan. <clears throat> One they definitely won't see coming. Doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, doom, do, do, doom, do, 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 doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, do, 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 doom, doom, doom. Hey, Don, we gotta get you some apples while we in town. Hopefully we can make some money off this stuff. We're gonna find out real quick if mining is profitable or not. Otherwise, we may just have to get the miners to come up here and do all the work and then rob them, Don.
Doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, do, do, doom, 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 Harold's <laughs> always thinking. Work smart, not hard. That's what he always said. Maybe that's how we start our mining outfit. We rent people the wagons. We show them the mining location, lease them the land. And then as soon as they get the wagon full, well, time for Huck the Kid. <laughs> the bu that is perfect. Yeah, we got we we got to come up with some shady ass schemes like that <laughs> later on in the future when more people get into town. That should be hilarious. <laughs> Early and Hugo, steady scheming. <laughs> Schemers ain't really criminals. They just kind of crooks. No, I don't do the murdering and whatnot, but. If we can steal all your gold, well, <laughs> my granny always said there's a difference between being the criminal and being the crook. Well, I mean, that's the only way we're gonna, we're gonna be able to build our own city. We gotta take it. Take what's yours. If we just wait around and swing a pickaxe, we won't never own it. <laughs> I plan on having a donkey farm and a hog farm and a coal mining outfit and steamboating and air balloons. We're gonna own everything that we can scam people with. Yeah, I done about 15 minutes last night, and I was, which, you know, in all the, I mean, I don't know what it's going to pay out, but I did get a shit ton of materials in just like 15 minutes last night. And that's without having no idea what to do. Hell, half the time I wandered around the cave and didn't even know I was supposed to have my pickaxe out. <laughs> so... <clears throat> I don't know if it's anything I need, <laughs> but like I said, I got copper, um, clay, coal, silver, um, iron, um, some rocks. Like I said, I don't know if it's anything I need or if it's going to make any money. We're about to find out. If it don't make no money, then we're just going back to robbing. Here there might be a couple of forts nearby. This here might be a good outfit, Don. That's pretty good property. Got plenty of corn for the mash. Let me check it out, Don. Hello, is anybody home? Can we kick a door in, Don? Seems like we should be able to kick a door in and go through a window. We could take that guitar right there. It'd probably fetch a few dollars. I feel like Earl's more of a gypsy than a criminal. <laughs> Opportunist. Mm -mm. All right, let's get out of here. Hey, little buddy. What's your name? I'm gonna call you Shelly the Shepherd. Yeah, I didn't get any gold nugs or nothing. 
I was told by some town folks that Ansberg was a good place for gold nuggets, but I didn't find none. I believe it, Mr. Oliver was leading me astray. <laughs> I got to go find my gang, too. I was on the way yesterday, me and Don. We was gonna, they was going to set us up a camp out there with the gang. And uh, we had to jump a bridge. And, uh, well, Don didn't make it. And then I got separated down river and, well, I never made it to the camp. <laughs> doom, diddle, doom, diddle, doom, diddle, doom, 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 Yeah. He's fast as fuck, boys. <laughs> <clears throat> all right so we we got to figure out a steady way to get into mexico without it costing us an arm and a leg every time we go and if we could possibly even we need to go to mexico when we have enough money to see if we can set up a camp over there so we can store all our shit into mexico i haven't even really headed down south yet <clears throat> Earl's been mainly just up north since he blew in from Bug Tussle. I got a feeling there's still a whole lot to explore down south. Man, I woke up this morning. I was thinking, damn, you know what? I wish it was 1999 and I have some blueberry from Texas. I could taste it this morning for some reason. <laughs> I don't know if I was dreaming about it or what, but I woke up like, damn, I taste some blueberry. That OG skunky. Before anybody even knew what it was. Doom, 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 my name is Earl Dodds. Howdy, fellas. Boom, boom, ba -dum. Gotta go in there and get us a bite to eat. We're feeling a little peckish, Don. Doom, doom, da doom, doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. Hurl Dubs, junior deputy in training, future mayor of Ansburg. Forget roads, we're moving on. Howdy, partner. I seen somebody last night selling biscuits for twenty dollars. I said, "You got to be out your damn mind." I go down to Gramps' place get them for three dollars. Damn twenty dollar biscuit. They must be out their damn mind. They didn't even have no mustard on it. Yeah, the Grimm's is a little bit crunchy, but 
for three dollars I mean shit That <laughs> didn't help my food situation did it son of a Doom doom da doom doom my name is Earl Dubs Boom boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom 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 That's pretty good, Vittles. Wash her down with a little bit of high quality H2O. Oh, it got me a mule. Never mind. Look here. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Hey, everybody, look at me. Best way to drink these is to stick a whole bottle down your throat. Watch. Gloom, 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 gloom. Huh. That way you ain't got to taste it. It goes right to your gut. All right, I'll be carrying on. <laughs> yeah, I still own that uh, that strawberry banana, strawberry nana. That's probably why I had a berry taste in my mouth this morning. Doom, 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 doom. My name is Earl Dubs. Howdy. Hey, I'm actually pretty clean for a change. I'll be damned. Doom, 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 doom. I do need to get me some. All right, I got revolver ammo. Never mind. What the hell was I thinking? That must be on my other dude. Um, dum, 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 dum. All right, yeah, I can't use this yet, so let's just set this over here for now. We'll come back. We'll set up our camp, I think, so we can set that shit up. In the meantime, we don't want to get we don't want to get crooked. Somebody steal that shit. I wish we could lay down there. That'd be cool. In our hotel, but everything's so close, it's on one of the commands. That's alright. That's alright. You go. These weird ass twins at the hotel's been freaking me out, buddy. I ain't used to seeing people that look alike. Where I come from in Bugtus, where everybody looks pretty different. These fellas here, they twitch a lot. I think he might fight each other. Fight! I don't think it's natural, Hugo. One time I come down here and they's hugging each other. Look at him. I think he got mad at him, walked out. Huh. 
Hey, some wild shit over here at this hotel. I tell you what. You a strange fella, buddy. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. My name is Earl Dubs. Hold on. He said we could sell some of his stuff here in town somewhere. Let me go down there and see if a blacksmith wants to buy anything. Boom, boom, ba doom, doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. Hold on. Did you go buy anything? Let me go check his store out. That's my buddy. If he needs any materials, I send it to him. You wait right here, Don. Somebody might be in his door fooling about. I better go check. Why are you standing on that bench, sir? It's awful suspicious with the door open. Don't make me call the marshal. I'm assistant deputy marshal in training. Earl Dobbs. I ain't got no authority, but I will hope to you. Hold on. Um, let's see here. Sale items. Iron ore. I think I got some of it. How much? I don't know how many I got. How am I supposed to know? Ten. Did that work? I don't even know if it worked or not. I got 15 of them. Let me try and sell 15 of them. Yeah, I don't think it worked. Did it work? I don't know. Oh, all right. Um, what else did we sell? Silver ore. I mean, we got eighteen of them. I don't know how many of them I got. Let's say I got 20 of them. I'm just guessing. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> cool. Um, 15, all right. Boom, 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 boom. I think it's all at them. All at the bind here. I ain't got no wood. <laughs> well, at least not since this morning. <laughs> doom, doom, da, doom, doom. Hold on, did I make you much money already? I might need to get back to mining. Oh, damn. I think I had a little bit on me, about $50 on me, but uh, I done pretty good right there. It's a pretty good score. 15 minutes, $100. I might have to rethink it mining operation. Don, let's go see what we can sell down here. Hey, babe. Other than my stomach absolutely just fucking shitting all over me, I'm pretty good. My stomach feels like a... It feels like it's uh, fighting itself in the UFC cage match.
That's why I stopped in there at Hugo's. I hear tell he's one of the best shops in all the land. Hmm. Well, I wonder where I sell this other stuff at. Let's see here, Don. We got some rocks and some silver and some clay. And some copper. Hmm. But the blacksmith don't want it. And the gunsmith don't want it. Where the hell are we gonna sell it at, Don? If we, if we get stuck with half our materials without being able to sell it, then we ain't gonna make much profit, Don. We're just gonna get stuck with a bunch of junk we can't get rid of. I ain't never gonna be able to have a whole donkey farm like that. I know, buddy. Ooh, are you coming here? <laughs> oh, man. What time is it, babe? 11. Oof. Alrighty, babes. I may have to, I may have to head up into the telegram office see if there's anybody interested in buying. I wonder how to set up one of them posters, Don, where we could say Earl's Mining Outfit. Come by your copper and your silver and everything. Just, just message Earl. That might be a good move, Don. I'm going to just sit here and rest for a minute, Don. I'm about halfway thinking I might throw up. That's a long ride over here. I need to get the hell to Hugo and get me some of my this and the wacky tobaccos. I know, Don. You think the same thing I think every time I see a fancy wagon. I'm like, I sure would like to take that wagon for a ride. Oh, no, yeah, no worries, bro. No worries, no worries. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where to go sell all my stuff at. Hmm, who do we sell copper to, Don? I tell you what, Don. You just get up on out of here till I figure it out. Go over and graze in the pasture or something, buddy. Doom, doom, da doom, doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. I wonder if anybody up here at the Generali store. I am a savage. They call me Bug Tussle Savage. Huh, <laughs> just kidding. Doom, doom, da doom, doom, da doom. Can I sell anything? Oh, where at, buddy? <laughs> nah, I can just buy. All right, let's go put the money in the bank. Doom, doom, da doom, doom. My name is Earl Dubs. Hey, you go. So funny. I don't know who the doc was on last night. But uh, <laughs> I brought Ryan to town for uh, just a little bit. And uh, <laughs> I'll go back and clip it. But we were standing here and he's talking to me about Oliver because I'm like, I need some money, banks, trains, whatever I can get. <laughs> and Oliver's like, yeah, the, the duck has all kinds of money. He makes a fine salary. And them. Um, so... <laughs> I looked at him and I was like, I wonder how much you'll be worth. <laughs> and he goes, hang on. <laughs> and then I see him running to the bank. <laughs> oh, I was rolling.
Holy shit. Doom, 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 doom. We gotta go up to the ranch and collect our pay. We got two days pay coming from the ranch. I don't believe it. We got their hands in all kind of enterprises. Making pretty good money. I mean, we we ain't gonna buy our farm no time soon, man, $100 a day, but hey, we ain't broke either. We can afford to eat and drink and do what we want. <laughs> Independent. <laughs> We're tearing this damn land apart. All of it. This place is going to the dogs. Well, I tell you what, you know how you can fix that? Morning. Morning. Vote for me, Earl Dobbs, future mayor. Morning. Morning. I was thinking. Um, maybe I should buy me some. Morning. May I wait and do that when closer to election time? Buy me a nice outfit, something real spiffy like, so I look sophisticated. You know what I mean? Where in the hell can I sell my copper at? Where would, I mean, where's a logical place to sell copper? I would think the blacksmith, but does the blacksmith not need copper? Who the hell would need copper? The butchers don't, the carpenters don't. Gotta be the gunsmiths. I mean, who buys the gold? Howdy. Howdy, partner. Violence is never the answer. Nitrate and paper. Huh. Maybe I'll just go cut down a bunch of damn trees in. Let me come a lumberjack as well. Doom, doom, da doom, doom. We go bars, you goes wagon, become a lumberjack. My map is broken. I'm going to have to go take a nap. Hey, yep, sure is. Everybody plays blackjack in this town. I'd like to get some community hold'em going on. I wonder if these fellas know anything about Texas hold'em around here. We could have like a weekly tournament down at the saloon. Everybody, work hard all week. $10 buy-in, winner take all. Yeah, my head is broken. I don't know why my map broke. Oh, I went into the bank. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep, let's go back here and pop our head real quick. Hallelujah. You roll the butter show, hallelujah. Man, this new one is, is the, and this shit, this oil is so thick, it stays stopped up. I have to literally just keep my pen on me all the time so I can keep the damn air holes unstopped.
Shit is thicker than a Snickers. in county is that a public server i feel like i heard that was a public server oh well Mm. Dun, dun, dun. Bone dose, boditos, here we come. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> Oh, hold on. We gotta take that jacket off too. That's for Huck the Kid. Huck the Kid gets the jacket and the mask. Maybe you come out to play later. <laughs> Here, tell there's a fort nearby. I gotta head up to Strawberry and get my other gun. I bet they ain't never seen nobody spin a shotgun around, have they? Hurl Dubs, shotgun spinner extraordinaire. <laughs> have I ever seen anybody spin a shotgun? Check it out. <laughs> what is I'm about to get real fancy.
That's a shotgun twirler and all the bug tussle. Used to be my cousin, but his accidentally discharged one time, and, well, I'm now the fastest twirler in all the bug tussle. Oh, yeah. His name ain't Hugo, is it? I hear tell he's part of the hateful eight. <laughs> Y'all better watch him. I hear they could be anywhere. You might even be talking to one of them and not even know it. Doom, 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 my name is Earl Dubs. Hmm, <laughs> just kidding. Doom, 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 What? He's dragging a helpless farmer. Point me in his direction, I'll take him to the train station. Can't be having people doing that to our local farmers. Well, you keep that in mind, Earl Dubs. Future junior deputy sheriff. Future mayor of Bug Tussle. Future mayor of Ansburg. Vote Earl. Howdy, partner. Doom, doom, act like it's yours and nobody know no different. How'd you do? Doom, 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 doom. Yeah. That's it, you take it right under their nose without them even knowing. It's almost like a crime didn't even happen. Doom, doom, to doom, doom, to doom, to doom, to doom, doom. Howdy. Howdy. Yeah. I'm gonna have to implement. I think when I run for mayor, only only a walk through town. Anybody caught speeding, like this right here through town. Well, it's going to be a $25 fine and 30 minutes in the county jail. Ain't no sense in folks being in a hurry and whatnot. It's like being down in St. Denis. That place a real shithole, by the way. Well, as mayor, I'm going to make them implement the law. That's what mayoring's for. All us mayors will get together and decide if one town needs some help or not, and if they do, then we'll implement some new laws. Then anybody caught breaking them, well, me and you go take them to the train station. <laughs> Howdy, me go bon dos boditos. <laughs> I've been learning a little Espanol. Hello. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Received 100 messages. So, yo, let's go. My first 100 message day. And we're only like. An hour and 20 minutes in. Let's go. Whoop, whoop. They eat and watch a movie. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Nice, nice. I'll be around. I'll be around. We're just laying some groundwork for some story development. Well, I guess that's it. Howdy. Can I help you with something? 
Next time I catch you following me like it all weird, I'm gonna draw on you. As, as future deputy marshal, um, it's legal. <laughs> oh, shit. Doom, doom, da, doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, Earl Dubs. Future mayor. Doom, doom, da, doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, doom, doom. Harold Dubs, future junior deputy. Train tickets. I thought I'd run the train station. And this is where you come to register for your mail. Let me check and see if anybody sent me any telegrams. Nope. No new mail. No news is good news, I reckon. Doom, doom, da, doom, doom, da, doom, da, doom, da, doom, doom. Howdy, partner. We gotta go find somewhere to sell this shit. I'm gonna set up the strawberry. And then we'll hit the ranch. Strawberry, then the ranch. Oh, right, fuck it. Let's go do our chores, and then we'll drop back down to, to strawberry. That way, we've done our chores for the day, and we can collect our hundred for the marshal for two days' work. Cause we actually yesterday wasn't a full day's work. We only done like forty percent of the chores, so we're not even gonna charge him for that. Let's go get another one fifty. That's the only way I ever dare charge. One fifty in the in the cows and the chickens doing. Doom did a doom did a doom did a doom doom neural dumps. Doom did a doom did a doom did a doom future mayor of roads. Get down off of that wagon right now. Get down off of that wagon right now. Why? Why? Because you ran over me. That's why. I was going to be nice. I ain't stole a wagon in three or four days. Whoa, horses.
<laughs> look, look, it got me a wagon. But pardon me, coming through. Coming through, coming through, Earl Dubs. Down, 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 Mic check, mic check, I need to turn it down and maybe move it away a little bit. Down, 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 Hey! Hey, pass on me, amigo. Oh, what are we doing going there? It's not the... Oh, that is the ranch. <coughs> Move them out. Dun 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 narrow dubs.
Um. Doom, 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 doom. Get on down here. Doom, did a doom, did a doom, did a doom, doom, world. <laughs> Better get in there. It's dark out. There's wolves and whatnot. Doom, 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 doom. Gonna get me a little bit of shut eye, Jade. And we gotta get up and do some chores in the morning. How are you doing today? I pulled a half a broken tooth out last night. My mouth is all rashed. Rashed, thrashed, and road rashed. Um, exit, exit, the animation would be cool if it would exit for you. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh! All right, let's do some chores. Where did Coyote go? Get out of here, Coyote. Stay away from my chickens. I mean, the high tower's chickens. Better just sit here till the morning comes in case they come back.
Huh. You get a little captain in you? Huh. I do. Oh, shit. Trap, let's go. Somebody left me a letter. On a day, Earl came to town. Laughter was all around. Everyone was laughing, thought it was funny. Dun, 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 I'm gonna run for my son. Home on the range, buffalo in the woods, they play. Got a big sky so bright as I sit by the fire tonight. Everything's gonna be alright. Bring some moonshine and get in a fight. I wanna see you down at a saloon Buying drinks real soon One and a two Some folks believe in Santa as for me and Donkey, we believe Marshall got run over by reindeer Riding out to cover six on Christmas Eve Some folks don't believe in witchcraft but as for me and Don Key, we believe. Pick it up, Earl.
One day, maybe we save up and get our own ranch. It'd be real nice. We don't need a spread this big. Just quiet with a view. I'm gonna play one more, and then I'm gonna get to work. About sun up. My name is Earl, and I ride a donkey. I'm gonna make the best moonshine that they ever did see. Wild apple berry. It's from Bug Tussle I'm just an old moonshiner from a moonshining family. Step it off, Earl. Start writing down these time stamps for clips. Maybe we can get some exposure over to Copperhead server and grow this bad boy up and we can get a whole band down there playing with Earl. Open up our saloon down by the coal mine. I play every Friday night. Folks will come from far and wide to hear me sing. I'm Earl and I got me banjo named Lucille. I had to fight about you boy for it. But he said, hey. It's yours, I said deal. All right, enough of that, I gotta get to work. I do like to set the picking and the grinning. I could do it about all day. <laughs> the early bird gets the worm, you know what they say. And what better way to start your day out within some high quality H2O from right down yonder in the creek? Good old creek water. Don't looks like he's been a whole lot of chores been doing. <laughs> Well, that's what they pay Earl for. So I guess if it ain't getting done, it's my fault. They don't pay themselves to work. They pay me. sell some copper and whatnot. It'll be a pretty profitable day between the chores and getting paid and selling them materials. I figure we might, we might right, they smartly make two, three hundred dollars a day. Doom, 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 doom. 
broke 20 yet. I'm getting close. Almost broke it. That was 20. That was 20. Hell yeah. yeah. Early to bed, early to rise. Makes a rancher healthy, wealthy, and wise. check something but I'm gonna start writing this in my journal now Fastest runner in the whole of Bug Tussle. Better stay in shape.
Boom, boom, ba doom, doom, fastest runner in boob tussle. Where am I going? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try something. Cause I, I've just been milking the cow and the chickens once, but I think once I'm over 150, I can do that as many times as I want and gather a shit ton of eggs and stuff for the high towers. I'm going to test it for science. Oh, 
127, we're getting close. Well, it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Well, this one going in and out's fucking with me for some reason. Better just stand still. Got a bad camera angle on this one. I think we still got our 10 though, all right. Cool. One more chore should be enough to get our animals ready. Ooh, that was rough. My clicking fingers getting tarred. Oh, are you kidding me? 147. That should be enough. That's a 20 bomb. Woo woo. Woo woo. Go Earl. Go Earl. this down bench let's see here and day one unknown But all day. Day two. Hundred and fifty seven percent hour. Now we see egg count. We base this. And then we'll do a, uh, we'll do a milk count.
Let's see, 30 eggs. Okay, so there's a cool down. Okay. All right, Bessie, we're going to try this again. Thirty-one milks. Thirty-one gallons from Bessie. Pretty good haul this morning. We'll come back and get them again this afternoon. All right, Bessie, you get on back to the barn now. Hey, Don, where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Let's head into town. We got our morning chores done. Oh, you're right, buddy. <laughs> My apologies, you ain't even had breakfast yet. Gotta go to the stable immediately. I wouldn't have wear it on. Let me see if I can find something in the barn in here. Hang on, buddy. Be right back, Don. Donkey! Hey, buddy! Hey, 
Right, we're heading straight to town to get you something to eat, buddy. Hang on, let me check where we're going. Yep, let's go check over in Strawberry. Don, you being funny again? Get on the trail. <laughs> Come on, Don. We gotta get a location on one of these, um, on one of these forts. Here's a couple of hundred dollars, real easy. thing going today. Come on, Don. partner good day sir leather wood and iron how are you mister howdy
I just heard some feller saying Mrs. Carrington met Roy when she was an O'Reilly working in the kitchen. This here is how you pick up a reputation. Can't swim. He's shooting at me. Get him, Sheriff. That's the only fooling about. I don't know why he brought firearms into it. All I did was wrestled him with my rope. That's the only fooling about. I think it fellow shot me. Son of a... Better get down and get out of here. I'll take a couple of those. Evening, Let's go! I got places to be! Oh, I was hoping to score me a camera. Yep, maybe next time.
Come on, Don. Got us some good pasta, though. We gotta go sell some of this copper and whatnot, Don. Gotta head on back, Don. It's almost a witching hour. <laughs> All right, where are we heading? Let's go to Valentine. That's where we like to hang out anyway. And then, uh, then I'm gonna go see if I can sell this somewhere. We need to run into somebody in town so they can help me out. Sir, little Don coming through. Hang on, what do we got here? Good evening, Mister. Howdy. Seems to have been a terrible accident here, Don. Is there anything we can interact with or steal? Earl Dubs, opportunist. Hey, Don, stay right there. I'm going to try something I've seen in a movie once. <coughs> Hope I ain't getting the TB. Not quite. Let's try it again. Maybe I don't need to run so far. Nope, i got to run. Otherwise, you don't get a running start. Hold on, Don. Fastest runner in all the bug dust, so you hang on. Go! Good job, Don. I might make an outlaw donkey out of you yet. We can call ourselves the Holler Boys. And our mighty, mighty band of Don Keys. We had trained them to be faster than any horse in the land.
call me an idiot. Well, see who's laughing after Don gets trained up. You'll be the idiot. I feel like this would be a perfect trolling opportunity for other servers to make a big green Shrek guy and ride a donkey. Donkey? Mum Porky Rogers, you goes doing. Howdy, partners. Howdy. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. It's me, Earl. I reckon there's a lightning storm coming. I was just going to head over to the saloon. Um, you don't know whereabouts a fella could sell, um, some clay and some copper, do you? Hmm. Yeah, I, I stumbled on a, a mine outside of Annie'sburg there and got me a little bit of materials. I need to get rid of them. I ain't no miner, but I might be if the price is right. Well, yeah, I tried to blacksmith. I got rid of a little bit of stuff at the, at, uh, at Hugo's there, but, um, let me check my, let me check here. Yeah, the copper and the silver and the clay don't look like nobody's a-buying. Might just need to go, um, go put it in the, Put it in my lockbox somewhere and save it up. Maybe somebody buy it later. Well, all right, you stay safe. I'll see you after the lightning storm, maybe. I better go put Don down in the stable. He, he, he gets scared of the lightning. I'll see you afterwards. Oh, hey, and for all the town folks, after the lightning storm, anybody that wants to ride Don, two dollars. First one's free. Howdy. Howdy, yo. Howdy, howdy. Just putting, the, just putting them Don up for the lightning storm comes. Hey, no problem, no problem. He said your name's Lucius, right? Lucius Vega. All right. Yeah, he gets scared of the were, lightning storms. Sorry, uh, what Valentine? Danny Valentine. Danny Valentine, that's right. Okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'll hey, definitely you, get that to you as soon as I can. You guys see my mule? You want to see my mule? Oh, yeah. Sure. There you go. Oh, that's a good looking <laughs> mule right there. Oh my god. What it's a jackstock mammoth mule. It's actually a mule. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, that's a lot bigger than the ones we got back in Bug Tussle. Hey, yo. Sloppy ears. Hey, yo, just stand in the middle of the stable over there. I'll show you what I do to people when they annoy me. You ready? That'll do. Stay there. Don't move. 
say that. Don't move. I feel like maybe I should move. Oh, no, you're fine. <laughs> oh, son of a... I knew it was... I knew it. Oh, this thing kicks like a... Well, like a mule. Uh, like yeah, a mule. He, he definitely kicked like a mule. I almost knocked my good eye out. Say, so, what's <laughs> the... Uh, you said that one... That, that special breed. What do they look like? Wait, you haven't seen one? No. Yeah, I haven't I seen any of them. Yeah, the one that you says, uh, you know, special to the state, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Colorado Ranger. Here, yeah, one that one. one. Oh, that's a nice one. This is my main horse, to be honest. I'll bring him in a lot. Oh, I'm gonna get out of his way, holy. Who me want? Shame on me. He's not even brushed. Easy up now, boy. How do you brush your horse while you're on it? Oh, just use the brush. Oh, shit. There you go. Hey, um, you fellas wouldn't know where to get rid of copper and silver yeah, at, would you? I'd speak to the blacksmiths. Or the gunsmiths. I Maybe tried like both. Them. Neither one was a buying. What? At least on their list out in front of their stores. Oh, it only needed, a, a, like, a couple of things. No silver, no copper, no clay. Huh. How much you got? Um, I got probably about um, um, 20 or 30 pieces of silver and copper. Huh. Tell you what, I'll give you 20 cents a piece. Um, hold on, let me see how many you got here. In fact, tell you go, I told, told him to buy them from you, and he'll buy them, trust me. When you next see you go, tell him that uh, Benny said to buy these from you for 20 cents a piece. Yeah, I think I got about 30 of each of the silver and the copper. Yeah, he'll buy them, trust me. All right, I'll just hold on to them, man. And yep, yep, yep. I reckon I got some clay, too. Where does clay and rock go? Go up to the lumber and mining store up in, um, uh, where there. You know, I've been thought about doing a little lumberjacking myself anyway. I reckon they always need some good building materials around here. Oh, in, in Motto's Rest, near, uh, Strawberry, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, say that's north of Strawberry? Let me look them. I love how you have to pull the map out. Go, Diablo, go! Manto's Rest. You know, funny thing is, I actually do have the money, but it's just in the version of a bond right now, so... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You spoke to Mr. Palmer? Uh, well, I sent him a, uh, pigeon. I was waiting to hear back, so... As a lawman, he'll help you. Yeah. Anyway, if I don't catch you after storm, have fun, look after that horse. Yeah. Earl, do. make sure you speak to you, girl. Adios, amigo. Will do, have a good one, stay safe. Don't get kicked by no mules, all right? I'm gonna stay in here just in case. <laughs> well, I get a notebook now. My handy dandy notebook. And my cryanto. Boop. <laughs> Earl's learning reading, writing, arithmetic. For long. He'd be running to Ansburg. Best coal miner this side of the bug tussle. I'm gonna go grab a drink while this resets. And I'll be right back with y'all. Howdy all.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Got me a good old Gatorade drinking on that Gatorade from the Bayou Boys down there. I tell you what, if if you ain't drinking Gatorade, you ain't <coughs> you ain't drinking the best. Holler at them Bayou Boys. And they also milk gators. I don't want to know about that though. <laughs> they may have been in the swamp too long. <laughs> Bucked up, so we just hog farming and fishing, an opportunist. The hog farming was more just for getting rid of the witnesses, though. How do we make Earl the most corrupt while also being the best mayor ever? <laughs> we gotta come up with schemes. That are kind of crooked, but ain't crooked. Are they criminal? Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, it was 1886. I don't know if they didn't cheat it yet or not. <laughs> oh no, it's a it's a hard load in. Oof. Oofy skadofy. Reset the reset. Yeah, we need to think. We can just give it a second or. Let's just reload the reload. Get a second to load the world back in. That's a big world. It takes a second. I'll never come back from Copper Hero. Da 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 Matter of fact, I gotta jam it. I ain't heard it this morning. Love Stevie Earl, but uh, due to copyright restrictions, we will be listening to a variation of Copper Hero. <laughs> It's ballin' biggie biggie, it's ballin' biggie biggie, we gon' ride. My name's John Lane Pettimore. I've seen my daddy and his daddy before. Honey, I'm a sour bad daddy down here. He only came to 
done about twice a year. It's crazy when you do a dab and it makes your nose run. Fuck the kids gotta go do some work, but first we gotta go sell some of this shit. I guess for now I'm gonna just put it in my hotel room. Gotta get Don some provisions. I don't have any iron ore, do I? Tiny ore, that's gonna be expensive. I'm gonna store that until I know what the price is on that. Um, I know that whole mine only got one. Gunsmiths. To talk to you a little more about that. He's my gunsmith. Need some provisions for my, for my horse. Howdy, partner. Boom, 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 howdy, howdy. I gotta find me some apples. Hey, where might a feller find some apples and some carrots and whatnot for his, his donkey? Oh, is there none in the store right now? Um, that one right there, I, I didn't see none. Just like some, um, some, uh, tents and campfires and whatnot. Okay. Um, yeah, that's usually the place where I would find them. Here, I'll give you some whatever. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't know. Also, I need to find me a good smith. I've been doing a little mining. I got me a shiny object. I need to find out what it's worth. Hmm. 
Might start me a whole coal mining outfit. Oh, thank you very much. Don's been hungry. Yeah. Um, I know there's a shop right over here, too. There might be some uh, stuff for your donkey over here. Watch it. That feather on that horse, that's rude. There's a sheriff walking through there. These locals ain't got no respect around here. Uh, they're all stuck in their own world. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, there used to be a shop here. I guess there, it's not here. No well, way. that's what I thought too. That's why I come down here. But I was like, maybe my brain just ain't working. No. That does happen to me quite a bit. <laughs> no, I understand the same. Um, I would check other stores too. Uh, you actually might be able to buy some from farms as well. Like That's what I was thinking. Maybe I'll go check around at some of the local ranches. I ain't been having much luck at the stores. Yeah, then the ranches probably are your best bet. Maybe I should just buy all the stores and then um, I can, um, I can, what do they call that? Corner the market and charge double for everything. There you go. <laughs> First, I gotta get this mining operation going. It's gonna be hard to buy all of them with $3. Oh. Um, <laughs> so that shiny object, go to a river, double click on that, sh oh, double flex your muscle on a, on that shiny object and see what happens when you're in a river. Huh, so you just wash it off in the river? Yeah, you want to wash it in the river and then oh. see what that shiny object is and then... And then you can um, sell it to the lady who you sell gold to as well. Um, where's that lady at? So she's most of the time I find her in tumbleweed at the mining area. Oh yeah, I ain't uh, been down tumbleweed yet. I might ought to check that area out a little bit. Yeah, it's a good place to mine. Am I been up in Annisburg? Yeah. It paid up pretty good. Nice. Yeah, I know Annisburg's got two of them. Man, I went to the one, um, it was kind of like up in the mountain, had a ladder down into it. Um, I didn't do much good there, but there was other than over by town. That's pretty good. Um, I reckon I need to find me a gold pan. Um, I'm going to become a professional miner, future mayor, um, deputy, ma uh, deputy sheriff in training, and gold miner, jack of all trades. Uh, you can get gold pans right here, I believe. Well, all I seen was some guns over there. Right there? Yep, right there, just guns. Oh, uh, they must have sold out then, because they've had it before. Yeah, that's what I noticed, and like a lot of stuff selling out. If you ain't at, on it when they, when they got it, it's gone. Because I had my eye on one of them fancy cameras. I was going to take them. What what do they call it? I seen that fella. He's taking them at the farmers market, but I went back to get me one, and they's all gone. Okay. So maybe I can just find somebody that's got one. And and hold on, never mind. You're the sheriff. I mean, borrow it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, just ask around and see if there's anybody you can buy <clears throat> one off of. <laughs> yeah. Of just taking it, you know? I mean, if they'll sell it to me for $3, I'll, I'll buy it. Ooh, maybe I'll trade them this shiny rock for it. I do like the barter system more than the money system. That way, if they got a camera and they need something, maybe I can just go get it for them. I ain't too good at counting money and whatnot on account of you got to know math. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'd rather just like go get him a nice horse or something off of a local and then trade it to him. Oh, there you go. That's not. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, that, that's not a good idea. That's called stealing. <laughs> oh, I thought that's called borrowing and bartering. No, not if you're taking it and not giving it back. Um, well, technically, if I borrowed it, and then I bartered it. How could I give it back? Oh my. Well, that's stealing. That's stealing, <laughs> Earl. I uh, better come up with a different plan then. That sounds like a wrongdoer.
Maybe I can sell some of that here. <laughs> <clears throat> Hold on, what? <laughs> doom, 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 doom. I reckon I just I I didn't know I could get me a job right here. I just work for this fella here. Hey, I got me a job. <laughs> oh shit, Earl's so stupid. Where does it where does this go? Yeah, that feller at the store gave me a job. He said if I worked real hard and fixed up the stables and whatnot, he'd give me a couple dollars. I don't know how much work he's got to do with him. Oh, no. That ain't no good. I don't know how to read or write no way, so writing telegrams don't really affect me none. Howdy, partner. Howdy, how y'all doing? I'm just doing a little work here for the for the construction fiddler over there. Oh, nice. If you go talk to him, if you need a little money, he got handyman jobs every now and then. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I don't quite know how much he pays yet. This is my first one, but uh, he's like, hey, buddy, you want some money? And I was like, yeah, I don't mind a hard day's work. I heard that, yeah. Sound like a plan. I'm actually looking for Sheriff Sable. Um, I just seen them a while ago. They went, um, they went up toward the office there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm supposed to be meeting her over here. Oh, you going to be a future deputy? Uh, I think she was just kind of kind of showing me around town. Uh, you know, get my feet wet. Oh, well, nice to meet you. Earl Dubs, future mayor. Nice to meet you, Dubs. I'm uh, Paul Jackson. Well, nice to meet you, Mr. Jackson. Ah, uh, sir, you have a good one, okay? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm going to get back to work here before you start yelling at me. Doom, 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 my name is Earl. Vote Earl. Doom, 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 I think I gotta go around to the other side. Doom, doom. I've been working on the railroad Oh, the live long day I've been working on the railroad Hoopla, hoopla, hey Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, 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 da doom, 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 da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, 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 doom.
Howdy! I've been working on the railroad. <clears throat> doom, 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 doom. Her dubs, handyman for hire. going over the hope it's at the fence I don't much like it scary barn over there doom da doom ba doom ba doom 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 my name's Earl Dubs Gotta get this chicken coop up. Otherwise, this town's gonna fall apart. Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, 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 da doom, doom, doom. Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. I hope that fella wasn't whooping that horse. I'll come back and take it whip and whoop him with it. Doom to vote Earl. A vote for Earl is a vote for horses. I feel like I might ought to let these things rot. <laughs> well, I don't know how I feel about fixing that up, Sheriff. I feel like if this thing is weak, it might be to my advantage. Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, doom. The name is Earl Dubs. 
junior deputy in training, future mayor of Ansburg, coal miner, lumberjacker, opportunist. Doom, da doom, da doom, da doom, da doom. Vote Earl. Oh, hold on, did somebody holler for me? Remember, a vote for Earl's a vote for the greater good. Boys are the ones that um, are you and I. So, uh, so if you're trying to help a cowboy out, um, their stores are usually the ones you see on the map that look like a box. So if you, uh, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're looking around on a map and you approach those stores, you'll see if they're ever trying to buy items. Um, and then you can help them out by, um, by, you know, giving them items and they'll give you money for it. Gotcha. Um, here I have a little bit of welcoming, welcoming gift for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Thank you. I don't use it, so I might as well give it to you. <laughs> You'll have better use of it right now. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Um, of course. Um, okay, so the places you mind is if you're looking at your map, you're going to find the Curse of M's on the map. There's several mines. Yeah, there's several mines around uh, the county. There's one down by Tumbleweed. There's uh, two in Ansburg. Um, if you get to know the locals, or not the locals, wow, I'm already mixing it up. If you get to know the cowboys around here a little bit more, they'll show you how to, uh, where the mine gives you gold. Gold sells for pretty good money. Hey, I can tell you where it's at later. Um. Yeah, of course. Um, each mine might give you a little something different. So, like, the one in Tumbleweed will give you nitrate. Nitrate's very important for the gunsmiths. Um... Other mines give you different items, uh, but all mines will give you iron, uh, clay, and a handful of other things I can't think of right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So all you um, need to go mining is just a pickaxe? Pickaxe, and then use a whetstone to keep a shop. Oh, and you gotta buy a permit from Earl Dobbs for $25. Nah, don't listen to him. Um, <laughs> if you get saddlebags for your horse, you can put more items in your horse so you can carry more items. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can get a saddlebag for your horse, I'm sure you probably already know, but at the, the stables down, down the road. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, do you know how to load up your gun and, and such? Well, I think, uh, yeah, um, I did this cattleman somehow. I can't remember how I did it, but I did, uh. Okay. Well, every time you join, you wake up from your nap <clears throat> and you join county, I always suggest putting your, pulling your guns out and putting them away just so you can have quick access to them. Um, you can reload them by um, double flexing your left finger over the ammo while the gun is in your hand. Yeah, just like that. If you gave me all the guns, it wouldn't be no violence. <laughs> and the. And then you can um, put it away. You, yeah, you already know. You already know. Um, yeah, I've actually, I've actually, I, I can't, I, I'm from another county. And oh, okay. Yeah, a bomb hit okay, it. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Okay, well then I, will, I don't have to go over the basics. How do you feel? Show you how to make money. Uh, <laughs> did you? Mm hmm. Um. So. Right, uh, I always suggest making mo the best way to make money first style. off is um, mining, lumber, or um, hunting. And you've done some hunting already? Can you figure that out? Okay. Uh, 
Um, the best money that I will give you is my little secret. Best money is to get out in the Great Plains is the bu uh, the bison out there. Yeah, out by Blackwater. So that's where I'm a sheriff out in Blackwater, so you'll often find me out there. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's uh, that's my home, too. So they had me here in Valentine. I had to beg them to send me over to Blackwater, because that's where I just, that's just home for me over there, too. Right, right. It's always been a dream to come back home. No, God. I don't. You probably hear mine too. Well, it's my animals. My animals are going crazy behind me. You're fine. Hey, y'all should stable them horses. Yeah, so uh, bison and alligator are good money to start off with. And alligators you can find out in the swamps and lagas. Yeah, yeah. Um, another good way to make money is become somebody's farmhand, which uh, my boyfriend is looking for one. I think you might have talked to him, Warren. Oh, Warren yeah, McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. No ranching's real nice. I work up at the covered six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's go. Uh, so if <laughs> if you look at your map, um, a little, what is it? It's uh, north east from here a little bit. You wanna look up McCarthy's Farm Goods? That's where we'll be heading. Hey, y'all want me to sing you a song? <laughs> oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling Valentine. Yeah, if anything, if you want, you can just follow me or I can ride us over there. It makes everything easier. <laughs> no, my darling Clementine. Do, 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 do. Do yes, please. Uh, yes, yes, you can. Uh, all right, I let me just look real quick because I can't talk when I'm looking. So give me yeah, one second. No problem. No, my darling, no, my darling, no, my darling, Valentine. I'm here all week. Okay, so you're gonna wanna uh, look at your settings and under your. Any unhorse hitched is a five dollar fine.
Yeah, she's she's the best doctor in town, though. Perfect, perfect. I got all the horses, it sheriff. Is there a certain way for me to get up on your horse without me throwing you off? Yeah, of yeah, yeah. Just flex your e muscle. Oh, perfect. Mhm. Mm I get my uh, my muscles mixed up from uh, another lifestyle, so uh, at times I might throw somebody yeah. off on accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I guess we're right. I'm going to be in my head for like two minutes. That's okay. Take your time. Yeah, please. Earl, Thank did you, you say something? Oh, I was just saying I got all the horses hitched up so there's no scragglers. Nice and orderly for you. Oh, you're the best, Earl. Thank you. I'm going to start charging any un unhitched horse five dollars. <laughs> by the order of the sheriff's table. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Hey, what do you think? If you impose the order, we can split it. Two fifty each. Hello? I'll hitch them up and then we'll charge them five dollars. You can write them a ticket. <laughs> All right, perfect. Howdy, partner. I gotta go in here and daydream for a minute. I think my missus might be outside. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. It's like that, y'all. It's like that, y'all.
Mister?
good day, sir.
Hamburg, ain't nobody even hear me cause it's on mute. And I need to turn down that filter. Oh, and I'm an ebony. And I'm with ebony. Turn off the filter for the song. I don't know what I said when I said I'm new. Oh, world's gonna write a song. I gotta get the audio just right. So Sam's all tired. Girl's got him a banjo. Hey, Jay, got me a banjo. Second first, same as the first. When Billy the Kid was a very young lad, Silver City went bad. Way out in the west with a gun in his hand. At the age of twelve, he killed his first man. And the music step. I almost plucked the string. Hang on. Let me try again. There we go. That's the rhythm right there. I sing you a true song with Billy the Kid. I sing some desperate deeds that he did. Way out in New Mexico long ago. When a man wants chance with his own 44. Billy the kid was a very young lad. Silver City, he went bad. Way out west with the gun in his hand. That's where he killed his first man. <coughs> Holy shit. <coughs> oh, can't do that. That'll kill my throat. Track. <clears throat> Here we go. One and a two and a one and a two. What the hell? I can't sing with Earl. That would that would destroy my throat if I try to do a singing performance with Earl. I'll have to do it as well. Ride my donkey if they come and find me. I'm in county right now. Hey, Don. Oh, you say. 
hanging next in down. Done. I'm gonna give him a few more minutes and then we go ride out. I'm going down to the creek. <laughs> Same as the first.
mighty fine a picking and a grinning right there. Mighty fine a picking and a grinning. All right, I got a good one right here. Check this one out. This is going to be one for the history books. Mighty fine picking in a grinning. Mighty fine picking in a grinning.
All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit y'all with another. Little bit of, if y'all don't know over, I'll wait on that. Here you go, Earl, Earl Dobbs, live from the, live from the sheriff's office. Have you noticed this instrument over here that looks like a frying pan on a big stick? Well, that's a banjo, of course. And it's a five-string banjo. That means it's got five strings. And notice where the fifth string starts, way up here. So if, if I form the chords up here, then this string isn't included. That's the wrong one. See? This instrument can be... Here we go. A one and a two and a one, two, three. Come on now. Give me a beat, donkey. Hey, donkey. Give me a beat. Well, I don't really know what's going on, donkey. Let me start over. Here we go. As I walked out one winter day, I met a His beard was gray, his clothing made of the cold red clay, his clothing made of the cold red clay. I said, old man, what happened to you? What country did you belong unto? My name is Death, I've come for thee. Oh, kings and princes bow down to me, oh, kings and Let's play this one though. I see my redhead mess bed tear shed queen be my squeak. 
The stage of smells, tells, hells, bells, miss spells, knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stuff, shirt like me on a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be in good company. Smells, tells, hells, bells, miss, bells, knocks me on my knees. It didn't hurt, flirt, blood, squirt, stuff, shirt like me on a tree. After I count down three rounds in hell, I'll be in good company. Damn, that was almost perfect. Sorry I didn't talk during that, but I'm going to make some hella clips out of that song right there. Holy shit, that was damn near perfect. The way he hit some of those <coughs> on time and shit to be a damn, to be an NPC was epic. Um, let's see here. We're going to do one more. <laughs> We're gonna play the mandolin. Um, this is just to pay homage to my grandfather who played banjo and mandolin. Or ain't ready for that. <laughs> Good company. Hello. Um, this Crap. is take um, five or six. The first couple takes, I didn't even do the whole song because I couldn't get through the intro, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I'm doing I'll Fly Away. Right, well, give it a whirl. Let's go. So, thank you for watching. 
Sang it! It's mighty fine singing there. All right, here we go, donkey. A one and a two and a three. It'd be only right to call out probably the man that has made uh, all of us guys up here play the banjo or either has been a great influence as he has in my complete life and my whole banjo playing ability is I could probably credit to this one man. Let's all give a, a tremendous welcome for the probably the best in the oh, world, come on. Earl Scruggs. All right, I can't, I, I gotta move on. Well, Earl's playing. All right, we're going to have to time this perfect, though. We're going to get you up. And then we're going to set you back down. Don't you worry, Earl. And then I'm going to bounce off here for a little bit and go get some food and kick it with the wifey, and then I'll be back later. I'm going to edit these videos in the meantime, post them everywhere. Um... Here we go. As he went along his way When all at once a mighty herd of red eyed cows he saw Plowing through the ragged skies And up the cloudy draw Their friends were still on fire Their hoofs were made of steel Their horns were black and shiny And their hot breath you could feel A bolt of fear went through them As they thundered through the sky For he saw the riders coming home
your shirt's all soaked with sweat. Well, that one's not as good to catch that herd, but he ain't caught him yet. Cause they've got he actually don't play the... He doesn't play that as long as he plays the banjo. Let's get a guitar one done then. I didn't really like that one that much. An old cowpoke went riding out one dark and windy day. Along a ridge he rested as he went along his way. When all at once a mighty herd of red eyed cows he saw flying through the ragged brush and up the cloudy draw. Their brands were still on fire and their hooves were made of steel. Their horns were black and shiny and their hot breath he could feel. A bolt of fear went through him as they thundered through the skies for he saw the riders coming hard and he heard their mournful cries. Faces gone, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaked with sweat. They're riding hard to catch that herd, but they ain't caught them yet. Cause they'll have to ride forever on that range up in the sky, on horses snorting fire. As they ride on, oh, hear them cry. As the riders loped on by him, he heard one call his name. If you want to save your soul from hell, riding on our reins, then cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride, trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. Hey, for real, teachers have more. I mean, that's why teachers are vastly underpaid, man. I had one when I was in middle school, hooping up, playing basketball, doing all that shit. And um, I'll never forget it. He picked up a globe off his desk and uh, he said, you know what this is? And I was like, yeah, it's a globe. He's like, nah. He said, that's the whole world in the palm of my hand. He said, same as yours. He said, go out and take it. I was like, hell yeah, that's, that's what's up nothing you can do anything nothing is out of your out of your grasp of possibilities you got to believe it to achieve it and then you got to work hard but yeah i was just making a few vids there about to go eat the shit oh let me make sure i turn my my settings back on Hey, I'm gonna post some uh, videos. Hey, I'm I'm up. I post them over in Discord. If you wanna, if you wanna tweet them out or something, feel free. You got way more uh, eyeballs than I do. Uh, I'm I done a couple of uh, I done one Copperhead Road banjo cover, 
couple other little tidbits I'm gonna make into quick little clips, like 30 second clips. I kind of have my notebook here, kind of just here at the end before I log off. Do a couple songs, maybe you can use them as advertisement for Copperhead Road. Like the Copperhead Road one is real funny. It was, um, if you go back into the stream about 30 minutes, it was actually at, at, at hour 420. I played Copperhead Road. Oh, that, that was pretty good. And then we done, um, what did we play, Jade? The Dead South. That one turned out real good. I'm going to have some real good clips from that one. Like Earl's Timing on that one and the banjo was impeccable. Yeah, they make sure everybody can hear me now. Well, I tell you what, donkey. Um, if we wanted to rob this town, we sure could. We've been playing banjo up here for like an hour. Ain't seen a loud dog one. <laughs> Or maybe we should just run for mayor and deputy. Earl Dobbs, move it all along. Move along. You're causing a traffic jam. Hey, partner. Howdy. I'm temporary voluntary deputy. Move along. I said move about. Oh, I'll see the problem. Untethered horses. I, I've been saying untethered horses are a problem in these towns. Hold on, there are dubs here. Move out the damn way. Come on, easy girl. Easy girl. Come on. Come on, easy girl. Easy. Oh my damn get out of here then. Either way, just clear that out of the damn road. Here, get out of here. Get out of here. All right, we're going to do this the hard way then. You're mine now. I didn't want to have to borrow you, but I did. Move out the damn way. Hey, you mind your P's and Q's. I'm doing you a service here, mister. Earl Dubs. Horse cleaner upper. All horses will be hitched there. It's a $5 fine. Well, move along, sir. Get on. Go on, horse. What's your yeah. Problem? Here, I'll push you up the hill. Get on. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. I only know one other option. That's if you let me drive. Let me drive for a second. Um, <clears throat> don't, don't tell the sheriff... If I accidentally throw you off, I, I'm just trying to move along. What the dickens? Oh my God! Get your ass out of here! Almost too much to fathom. Hang on, sir. I'm gonna give you the wheels back. I'm just getting you. I'm just getting you through here, buddy. There you go. You can have your wagon back. I wasn't trying to be mean or nothing, Mister. I'm just trying to get you out of the way. Now hop on there and move on out of here. Well, you left your damn wagon, buddy. There we go. Moving on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Earl Dobbs, volunteer deputy. Keep it moving. We're going to have to have a no wagon ordinance in here. That, that turn right there is dangerous. <laughs> what? Uh... Oh, 
want the clips of the doctor. Huh? <laughs> hey, feel free to clip anything too. The good thing, even you, um, like you go, if you see something funny, like there's a that little button, you can click on the screen and there's like a little option, like a little, um, I don't know, like a little movie deal where they, they used to clap it and say, take one, take two. You can clip, like you can clip anything that you think is funny. I usually when I if I if I if something happened that's funny I usually try to put it down in my notebook so I can go back and check it later but I don't always do that either. <laughs> it's been some funny ass shit though. How are you, Mister? Clearly. Doom, 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 doom. Hurt up, volunteer deputy. <laughs> hey, just because you horses are bigger than mine, don't mean you can bully me. Yeah, get out of here. Don, I gotta go take a nap. And get something to eat. Oh, hey, I got something for you, buddy. Sheriff Sable gave it to us for you. Now go on, get on. Go on. Go on, get. Doom, 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 doom. Mister? Howdy. I was so gonna go over and push that dude in the river. I've been telling him not to fish outside my door. He keeps me awake at night. But the last time I did that, um, the sheriff come along and um, he said, hey, what's going on here? And I was like, um, 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 it's his fault. <laughs> and then I bullshitted my way out and ran away. Lesson learned, don't push dudes in the river. Doom, doom, be doom, doom, be doom, be doom, be doom, doom. Is there somewhere I can eat this? I just eat it out here in the hallway. Seems like a good place as any. I mean that. Eh? I'm feeling claustrophobic in there anyway. <laughs> All right, y'all, make sure you got on the, uh, the the notification bell. Be sure and go follow the homie you go. Hey, you can drop your link in here, too, if you want, over on the gram. Um, cause hopefully, that's where a lot of funny-ass clips will be going soon. If I can get some funny ones, I'll send them to him. He'll go through them. The funny ones, he'll, he'll post. Uh, the not funny ones, we'll Discord. We'll grow uh, the Copperhead audience and the Hugo audience. Let me tell you, that little fella... Me and him's gonna be up to no good, I can already tell. <laughs> Alrighty, I'll see y'all in a bit. I gotta go get some grub on my on my tub. Cause I am hungry as a I feel like my belly button is eating my spinal cord right now. They're hungry. Hungry, hungry hippo. You go. See you in a bit, buddy. I'll tell everybody I'm live over in the over in the newspaper.